Razer microphones. Don't ever are buy garbage. them. Yeah, yeah, they're goddamn All worse. Razer products are fucking shit. Well, I, I don't agree with that, but... I do. <laughs> I, don't, I do. You're the one who said it. Uh, yeah, man, I always agree with myself. <laughs> you gotta. Who else is gonna? Uh, I'm, like, my headset broke, so I've been using my lady's headset, and it's this Razer fucking... It's pink, and it's this razor ass, <laughs> piece of shit ass headset. So yeah, if I sound horrible, that's why. Also, okay. the recording itself might not sound as good just simply because of the headset. Yeah. Say some shit, cause you sound quiet hey, as fuck. Hey, for hey, me. whoa, 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 whoa. All right, you good? That's, All right. that may be is real loud. I don't know. Dude, that's that's how you mic check. It sounds quiet in my ears, but I was looking at the little meter go up and down, and that shit sound looked like you were loud. So Good. You're probably loud. That's perfect, because I am loud. What up, dude? It, we have not recorded <laughs> anything since fucking... Uh, A million years. October of last yeah. year. <laughs> <laughs> All so, right, welcome so, back. Yeah, dude. Okay, so... Uh, are we Are we going? Oh yeah, I recorded the second I oh, called we're, you. Oh, we're going. We're yeah, going. We, it got to be garbage at the beginning. Dude. Always, I'm always, dude. Sure in, in typical fashion, yep. garbage. But we back, and <laughs> dude, guess what? By popular demand, we're back because a bunch of motherfuckers been asking me, when the fuck am I going to do the podcast again with you? Said by popular demand. Yeah. Uh, Ooh. I, I I feel like we need a commercial. Are you buying YouTube ad space? <laughs> I uh, no. Back but by popular demand. I need to. I'll buy. I'll make a commercial for the podcast. I'll make a commercial. I, I think we need. One. I think we need one. It can have all sorts. We'll just put all of our like buzzwords that we used in the past. Yeah, just like a, a like a bunch of buzzwords and, and like a like a bunch of like objects just like spinning onto the screen and then stopping and then buzzword above them. Synergize. So like the object doesn't have anything to do with the buzzword. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like the buzzword fucking what? tacos, but like uh, what's spinning onto the screen is, is like a like a big old truck. What are buzzwords? What's a good buzzword? I don't know. I'm looking them up. Strategize. Yeah, yeah, do some buzzword Innovate. Research. Artificial. <laughs> yes. Granular. Yes, those are all good ones. Uh, granular is a Micro good one. Microprocess. <laughs> but check it out. I put out feelers or whatever because I was thinking about doing the like creator showcase thing where I have other mm. people on the podcast to talk yeah, about yeah. their channels. And I've done two of those already and they actually turned out really good. But... When I put out, hey, I'm going to bring back the podcast and do a creator showcase, every motherfucker said, but when are you going to do the normal podcast with that one motherfucker <laughs> we ain't heard in a minute? The normal ass podcast. Yeah. The return. Yeah, they didn't even know how to talk about it. They just said, the one with the guy you already know. They were like, you know that guy that <laughs> he's like mad about stuff? We miss him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that guy that hates gypsies. Bring him yeah. back. Yeah, where's that gypsy hating son of a bitch? <laughs> and then, just for no reason, I'm going to shout out another podcast. Some random motherfuckers started following me and liking all my podcast posts on Twitter. And one of them motherfuckers is like a comedian. Okay, well, here's the thing. is Does the comedian have his own podcast? And is it a gypsy podcast? <laughs> and we can have like a rival podcast so we just talk shit about them and then they talk shit about us i like we're that. right because I'll... they're gypsies <laughs> i'm pretty sure they're not gypsies they're i think gypsies. they live in la and yeah, dude. but they do have their own podcast gypsies live everywhere you never know you never know they're a wandering people yeah wasn't so... this supposed to be about aliens we're already back on gypsies <laughs> dude it's well, there's no there's no structure and there's no need for one because yeah. we're just too good at it. I don't, I don't but, think Joe Rogan's got notes. <laughs> if he does, then fuck him. <laughs> I think that motherfucker brings a person to his like facility and then they like talk beforehand what they're going to yeah. do. 
Well, you know what? Hey, if we had a facility, but you know what, Joe Rogan hasn't ahead. done yet. What? Joe Rogan hasn't, even though he talks about aliens a lot now, he hasn't talked about the fucking guy in like I don't even remember what country it was. I'm gonna say Israel. That there guy, the chief, I think you're right, chief security officer or whatever the fuck. That guy said. Not only are aliens real, these motherfuckers got a whole federation yeah, in dude, space. Yeah, dude, the Galactic Alliance. And we got hidden humans on Mars already. Dude, why are they hiding them? That's what I want to know. Why are you hiding the humans on Mars? Well, the guy said that aliens think we're all racists. Well, I mean, they're probably <laughs> right. If I seen, like, a big green, you know, alien man or something, I'd be like, what green the fuck, fuck are you? You know? <laughs> Yeah, aliens don't I'm, accept us yet because they think we're going to be mean to them. I mean, you know, if they're ugly aliens, yes, I'm going to be mean to them. <laughs> but, like, you know, if, if they're like the, the fucking Captain Kirk bangs them kind of aliens, like, I'm all <laughs> for it. Dude, that's exactly what I was telling my lady. I was like, if the aliens are real and it's just a blue chick... I'm gonna have to sleep with her so that way yeah, we absolutely. can populate science. Yeah, yeah. How else are we gonna populate space? Yeah, not to mention, think of like the potential genetic benefits, man. <laughs> what if like, what if these blue bitches are able to live like in water or yeah. acid, <laughs> and that gets passed on to our children? Like our kids are just acid proof. So I'm like a, in the Middle East kids. and stuff, like all those acid attacks, they splash an acid on. On the Christians or the women that won't wear the rags on their head, like, dude, fucking, it won't be a problem no more. <laughs> they'll throw the acid and they'll be like, dude, come on. Now I'm all wet. Some of my kids are gonna be super kids, and then some of my kids are gonna be just normal ass ones. Dude, all I'm saying doing is you math with a calculator. That we got with the Galactic Federation. <laughs> <laughs> I, I made the right choice. Well, no. What if you made the wrong one? What if? What do you mean? Well, I have acid for kids in the future. <laughs> <laughs> hear me Alex out. What's though. bad about that? Hear me out, though. What if the Galactic the Galactic Federation looks at me having already produced offspring and goes, "That's a that's a healthy seed there." Or what if they look and at they that look and at say, you and they go, "He's already got them." <laughs> he doesn't need more. He's got yeah. plenty. Yeah. <laughs> That's it for her. His hands are full. <laughs> no, I. Well, if space is the final frontier and it's endless, th there's never too many. They're kids. gonna say he's got kids to take care of. He can't go to fucking endless frontier <laughs> space. No. They're gonna pick me. <laughs> They're gonna specifically pick me because I could put a kid on Gwalup and I could put a kid on Zenular. Dude, don't you? Okay, but here's the thing: which kid you gonna put on Gwalup and which one you gonna put on Zenular? <laughs> well, it depends on who lives on Gwalup and Zenular. Maybe I'll <laughs> sleep with a lady on Gwalup and a lady on Zenular. Oh, okay, I thought you were talking about putting your pre-existing kids on these other planets. No, like, those ones. You're in charge of this one. <laughs> the pre-existing kids cover Earth. They stay here. Oh, they, they just stay there. You yeah. just leave them. Yep, yeah. Fucking classic dad move. That's how Genghis Khan did it. <laughs> That's how my dad did it. <laughs> yeah, that motherfucker was supposed to get cigarettes or something, and I ain't seen him since. <laughs> yep. <laughs> classic. That's the move, man. Maybe he's... We was, eat, we was, we was watching cartoons <laughs> Saturday morning. I went to go get some cereal. I said, Dad, Dad, there's no milk. He said, well, you can't eat that cereal dry. I guess I'll just have to go and get some milk from the store. I'll be back. And guess what happened? The Galactic Federation saw he was a good dad getting milk. <laughs> took him to like, Mars. You know what? We know your kid needs milk, but... <laughs> There are plenty of kids on Mars that need milk. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you gotta be on and, the inside base on and Mars. And that's how my dad became a Martian courier. <laughs> yeah, he's, the, he's the Martian milkman. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, see, look, if the Galactic Federation is real, every job is cooler. Yeah, dude, like, okay, being... Martian well, I mean, it's, just like, it's just like Futurama, you know, like, Fry didn't want to be a delivery boy, because that was fucking lame on Earth, but, like, you're a delivery boy in space, that's fucking cool. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You can, I, could get, I could serve fucking whatever the food is to whatever the alien. Oh, uh, well, I don't know if you want that job, because, like, what if they eat through, like, their fucking, their dick hole or something? Well, like, that's... Suck it up. That's, well, I'm not 
standing around to watch because dude hey no if you're the cafeteria lady in space <laughs> cantina then you are gonna watch well i was talking about being a delivery boy in space oh, okay. and i was gonna say i would just protect just myself with a blaster with a gun <laughs> hairnet you know like just slapping some space smashed potatoes on some space trays dude i think we just learned that hairnets are the the most popular item in space because without them there mm -hmm. would just be sh fucking hair strands everywhere floating yep, all over I, tell you, I got some long fucking hair and uh It'll that shit gross. all over the place at my house okay? yeah exactly imagine and now imagine how gravity was in space yeah <laughs> yeah all this hair floating around fucking tangling up my fucking larynx while i'm asleep yeah that would be real gross into my mouth wouldn't be helpful at all but no. for real though what do you think about the galactic federation is that guy lying well i mean like i don't i don't know <laughs> I don't know if he's lying. I don't, I don't know it. I didn't give him no polygraph test. But what do you th do? You th I mean, do you think it's a lie? Because some look of the here, shit he here. said is probably I'm always a lie. gonna be skeptical. Right. I, I think it would be fucking cool as shit if there was a Galactic Alliance Space Federation. I'd fucking salute him and tell him Infinity to Beyond and fucking you know tell him not to touch my laser. But uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. You know, like I'm for it for it well you think seen... it is like pretty coincidental that uh you know the united states was like yeah we're putting together a space force and everyone was like why why and they're like uh right hey so you know? that okay so hear me out this is what i was about to say hmm. the evidence thus far right that we have okay. yeah space is force. first we have all the conspiracy theories right that's ever been yeah. made <clears throat> then in 2000 whatever the fuck space force was announced yeah and everybody went ha 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 ha, ha space army well, that and then, sounds and then just recently the what was it the the navy or something the david put out fravor those videos, videos <laughs> is that, that what it is where he's like i don't know what the fuck that thing is sure is move fast yeah so yeah the tic tac video that david fravor and his other guy that was with him we don't know mm -hmm. his name uh those videos were shot like in the early 2000s yeah. and were released by who released them officially i think it was like the pentagon or some shit yeah yeah, yeah. Get it wrong. The government officially released you know yeah the, the and evidence that there are things that are fucking you know scooting around we don't know what they are exactly the government themselves said this some shit what is it who knows but it's real footage yeah and well so, i mean you know that that's like i mean i'm not really surprised by that to be honest like i'm i'm surprised at the fact that you know if if that is like you know true evidence of fucking alien life or whatever i'm surprised that they are a technologically advanced society or whatever like advanced enough to build something that could do that and fucking get over here do its little scoodly button around <laughs> uh but i mean i'm not surprised that there's life in space because i think it's ignorant to think that oh you know, this one little infinitesimal speck this one grain of sand in a fucking vast desert you know of uh, you know right. of the universe like we're the only yeah i i mean i agree with around. you i agree with you on that a thousand percent which yeah. will i'll eventually get to that too because i kind of i've been talking about like religion a lot lately because i mm. believe in the lord or whatever but yep. also aliens i believe it <laughs> <laughs> hey man you know hey, if there is a god and he's out there Let he made all this shit Army. you can't tell me he wasn't like ah we'll we'll test out some people here we'll, we'll give this girl three tits. here yep exactly yeah. i think he did yeah. do that i would have did it yeah if i if i was the lord and i made people and cows and chickens and shit i th and then yeah. i was done I would have been like, mm, I'm not really well, especially, done. Especially, especially if you got done fucking a bajillion years ago, you just <laughs> been sitting back like, oh, look at him go. <laughs> like, how long can you watch a fucking ant pile? <laughs> yeah, ex that's my point. Like, eventually, I, I mean, is, I'm is that be why? Like, is that why? Like, okay, you know, you had like, uh, you know, Moses. Fucking God came down, talked to that motherfucker. <laughs> You had, you know, you, you had Jesus. Like, that was like God sent himself down in a fucking 
skin suit and talk to everybody. And then, like, fucking hundreds and hundreds of years have gone by and fucking he ain't said nothing since. <laughs> You know, like, that motherfucker just got bored and was like, all right, y'all are good for a minute. I got to take care of the Romulans. Uh, <laughs> yeah, y'all chill. Exactly. Read yep. my book. Re try to do what it says. You know, if you can't, it's okay. We'll still, you know, give you somewhere to go when you die. But I got to go make sure that these guys aren't worshiping Satan or something. Exactly. I think all the evidence points to like God has just been bored this whole time. And <laughs> yeah. what what if he what if he had changed his mind and made the cows walk and talk? And so Dude. he went and did that on another place. The, does that mean like we would have ended up as burgers? Yeah. Like there's a whole another planet where like cows are the dominant fucking intelligent race and like yeah. they fucking farm raised people <laughs> yep, feed yep. them bananas and yeah, shit yeah well I mean if you think about the theory of like the multiverse there would have to be a, a version of earth that is that yeah yeah in, in an infinite men. multiverse yep yep it's planet of the cows mm -hmm. and we just are dying you goddamn dirty cows that's what we would say <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's a thing, and they're riding other farm animals and ain't even a horse. <laughs> Dude, oh God. cow planet sounds dope and scary. I don't, I, no, yeah, I, I don't, I don't know if I want to go there. Like, <laughs> their theme song it would be is fun, cattle like, in video game sense. <laughs> it would be a cool video game. Their yeah. theme song is cattle decapitation. That would mm -hmm. be cool. Yeah. Anyway, that's we got. We went off on a tangent. <laughs> <laughs> My point is, all the, the evidence is. thus far points to the government showing us aliens. So could that Israel guy just be also one of the governments that are being like, yeah, these motherfuckers aren't fast enough. Here's some more info. Because he did, there is what? shit that he said that I'm like, mm, that seems a little yeah. too much. Like, hidden humans on a base on Mars that sounds I mean, yeah. a little too much but at the same time like people been talking about like fucking uh, aliens having like deep ocean bases on Earth for Ever. goddamn forever you yeah. know and, so maybe we uh, do have one on Mars uh, yeah cause like you know my thing is it's like okay the, the video we were talking about that the fucking US government put out and said yeah this is real this happened Tic -tac, weren't they yeah. over the ocean uh yeah Yes, and there was yeah. what's not in the video, but was part of the account, uh, is that whatever was over the ocean that you see in the video was interact submerged? was interacting with something that was submerged. Yes. Oh, see, look, there you go. So, so David Fravor and them said that the there was something underwater. It just wasn't picking up on the signal on the radar. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's like okay. I'm not really surprised by that because we got fucking paint that we could put on airplanes that make radar not pick them up as good. You know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so if we figured out a paint that stopped radar, I'm pretty sure something that flew here from space and is living under the ocean got no problem <laughs> taking care of that problem, you know? Yeah, well, that's part of what happened in the video, too. They, like, scrambled the, the radar or whatever. Yeah. And so that's like straight up to the U.S. like a means to like a, fight. Oh. That's like one of the rules of fighting. If yeah, you shake somebody it, scramble your radar, like you kill them, fire on them. <laughs> 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 your shit gets scrambled, they die. That's what happens yeah. next. That's the how closest it works. person to you, shoot them. If your radar is scrambled, <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's how it goes. And so, yeah, dude, aliens—they're real. They're living among us. They've been here. Dude, they they gotta be. They gotta and be. That gives me I to my next show, point. I Ancient Aliens. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Dude, I've seen it. I, I know I, about that. Listen, <laughs> I know all about how the pyramids are alien ships that produce sunlight underground. Mm -hmm. Yep, and, and how uh, that guy's hair is full of secrets. <laughs> the one guy with the big hair. <laughs> yeah, he's got the fake Einstein yep. hair. Yep. He's like an Einstein cosplayer. It grows every season. <laughs> I, is there new seasons? I didn't even know if there are I don't new know. Seasons. I mean, <laughs> I think that show. I don't, I don't even think it's been on TV for a minute. <laughs> yeah, it's it's all, that's old news. But mm -hmm. side note, COVID happened, 
check it out yep. what if covid's not human what if covid19 is actually the designation Alien. of the planet that it came from <laughs> <laughs> well, well, yeah, check it out. What if it's the aliens first, like, testing testing out the people, like, capable of going to space? Oh, yeah, yeah. Or, or check this out. Check this out. What if it's just an accident? You know, like, okay, <laughs> yeah. War of the Worlds? All right. Yep, yep. So, like, that was like, oh, no, they're fucking killing us. We can't do nothing. Our tanks don't do shit to them. We're fucking dying. And then, like, they just all started dropping dead, and we're yeah, like, what the, fuck? the cold. Common cold, man. God like, what it. if this is re- reverse War of the Worlds? Like, they came down here, they're not blowing us up, they're just, like, trying to keep an eye out, see what we're doing, learn <laughs> a little bit about us, a little bit of research. Space And then, like, disease. one of them, yeah, one of them accidentally sneezed <laughs> on a pangolin <laughs> in China. <laughs> <laughs> if you sneeze on any animal in China, it's that's done because they yeah. eat fucking every single thing. Yep. Why? Why? And that. That's, Tell me that's that. Why, that's a what, good thing. Tell to you talk why about? China eat every single thing? Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know. I can't speak Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they eat everything. I seen them motherfuckers eat a whole live tortoise. That yeah, that well, motherfucker uh, weren't even cooked. Here's the thing, man. They're if they're eating pangolins, number one, that's an endangered species, uh, so that's a no-no. But <laughs> don't matter. What what what's what's the what's the draw? To like, oh goddamn, dude, pangolin is so greasy, so good. You know, like what is it? Like, dude, I I live in Texas. I see armadillos. I would never fucking eat one. I mean, I I know people do. That's from but point. I would never eat one. That's exactly my point. They're they're like the garbage disposal of the mm. world. Yeah, except they make a lot of garbage, too. <laughs> I'm calling you out, China. Number one polluter on the planet. Dude, you name an animal, I b- they eating it. they taking it and they eating it. <laughs> it don't make sense. Yeah. Well, they, got, they make cereal. Why are they eating fucking cheetahs and shit? Dude, <laughs> they're making cell phones, but they're eating turtles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Can you make a cell phone? I can't. Exactly. Well, actually, and you got, I don't know. You got if Triscuits you parts, and Wheat Thins and shit. Yeah. Yeah, but the, can yeah. you can you put together the like fucking ion crystals and shit? <laughs> no, I, I'm, I'm not an ion crystal guy. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's the one well, trick you, you can't do. I, I could I could kill a cow, fucking <clears throat> chop it up grind up the meat and make a hamburger out of it i mean me too i could definitely do that (laughs) so i think we've just proved intelligence in eating animals is a low iq one Mm -hmm. because if you just eat any of them you're stupid (laughs) you only eat the tasty ones oh well maybe they're just testing it out for everybody else they're figuring out which ones are (laughs) capable of being eaten and whoops bats covid19 (laughs) <laughs> don't eat this one it poisoned the whole world <laughs> now we know that's why fedex yeah. is closed <laughs> dude you gotta know somebody's yeah, gotta do it christmas package is late that's how people discovered sandwiches that's how people discovered you gotta kill your firstborn kid because of the plague yeah you gotta know is that... <laughs> i don't think that's Never mind. We'll worry about that later. <laughs> it's how it works. <laughs> it's how it right. works, man. So that's how it works. Oh, well, I think we learned a little bit just now. About that, yeah. I don't yep. even know where to go now. I don't, I don't either. I, all I know, China, it's your fault. Um, <laughs> space, it might also be your fault. <laughs> so if y'all could fucking chill, be all right. <laughs> Whoa, That'd be nice. Thanks. Why is space China's fault? No, no, no. The space ain't China's fault. I'm saying space. It's also space's fault. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I the, see. They, what you, they yeah, ruined. Yeah. It's China uh, and space's fault. Yeah. Together, collectively, they ruined 2020. And you know what? <laughs> they owe me a year. I, uh, uh, yeah. I don't disagree with that. I ain't did shit this year. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they owe me a whole year. This whole year I, over. I was ready to go. To, I was ready to go on vacation. 
I got a passport. <laughs> I got fucking money saved up to go on a vacation. Well, now if you go anywhere, you might die. No, I can't go anywhere because all the countries are closed. <laughs> Dude, I live in California. Every single thing yeah, you is can't, closed. Yeah, you can't even go to the fucking store. Nope, I can't even talk out loud. Otherwise, no. people are going to be mad about it. <laughs> oh my god, dude! Let me tell you this. I went, uh, I went hunting like I don't know a couple weeks ago or whatever. And dude, it's it's some fucking you know middle of nowhere and fucking like you know Ooh. central West Texas shit. And ain't nobody give a fuck about COVID out there because they in the middle of nowhere. And dude, it was such a relief that nobody cared. Nobody cared because, dude. Who's giving it to them? <laughs> well, oh, okay. So here's a fun fucking... I laughed, but everybody else was mad at me story. What? Uh, <laughs> so m some of my family lives in the country, right? You know this, like out in the woods where yeah. like ain't no... no. How the fuck are you going to get COVID there? Ain't nobody yeah. there. Yeah, anyway. that's exactly where I was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. So, and... Even my grandma and grandpa live on like a fucking hill in the woods. Like, there's the only, the closest house. You got to use binoculars to see it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like the place that we're fucking hunting at. Like, to get to the property, you have to drive fucking like nine miles down a rock road. Well, yeah. <laughs> and there, there's not but like two houses on the whole motherfucking road. Okay, so check it out. Somebody in my family got COVID. Right? Not. Yeah. In my household, but in my family. And they live in the woods, right? Wow. Just like I said, with binoculars and everything. And yeah. check it out. They, they've they been so afraid of COVID this whole time that they left their house maybe like 12 times this entire year. <laughs> They're so afraid of it, they wear hand sanitizer around their neck as a necklace. Oh, no. And they got and, and it. And they got it? Yeah, they got it. How? No clue. <laughs> I don't know. That's dumb. Even, I That's don't even, dumb. I don't know. Sorta, dude. I do. I, I let think me just somebody say spit in their ice cream. It was. It was. It was. Uh, dude. It was so freeing to just be able to walk into the gas station, fucking grab uh, a snack and a drink, put it on the counter, and pay for it, and not have to like, oh, put my mask on, <laughs> fucking, oh, you know, I'm so scared. Do you, uh, and do you still have a beard? Cause here, this is yeah. the thing that fucking is horrible. It for protects me. me. I <laughs> I have a big ass giant beard. I, how the fuck am I gonna wear nothing I put on my face is gonna help me? Yeah, I know, I know. My <laughs> shit fucking like fuck way hang outside the mask. Yeah, me too. Or I have to like roll my fucking beard up and then wear those like <laughs> fucking baklava things, and then yep. it's just this poofy ass. It looks like I got tumor on my neck when I go in a store. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it. then like whenever you take it off, your beard's all like fucking mush to your face. And yeah, shit. and it hurts. Yep, sucks. Cause the hair is like coarse, so it just fucking like hurts to even like mush it all up. Yeah, I yep. hate it. Fuck, yeah, fuck it's the COVID. worst. I'd rather fuck die. COVID nineteen. <laughs> I'd rather die. <laughs> you know, I feel you. I Dude, feel it's ya. it's been a nuts time, man. It's been a weird uh, year. It's been crazy. Yeah. My uh, this is how my, it is my sister's now. boyfriend, uh, his mom, his mom got it. Did she die or something? No. Oh, she she got better. She was she was like sick for like a week and a half or two weeks or something. She just fine now. Yeah, my mom got tested. She, she gave it to uh, she gave it to her daughter too. Yeah, this that's crazy. And so, yeah, how are people even getting it? How are they getting? It? I don't know. I don't know. But see, the weird thing was is that uh. You know, like my sister's boyfriend, uh, her his his mom got it, and his sister got it from their mother, but their father, who lives in the same house and sleeps in the same fucking vicinity as the mom, <laughs> never got it. See, that's why I think it's like a test. The aliens are testing humans. Yeah. So like, uh, so like the dad could go to space, but the mom, the... <laughs> but the rest of the well, family no. If they live. Yeah. <laughs> 
if they live through it, then they if they, they live are through it, they can go to space. Yeah, I, I I was thinking like you know if you're just like impervious to it, they're like, <laughs> oh, you're definitely going to space. <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna get any sort of fucking like, like alien if you're, if you get disease. Sick, you're not coming on my spaceship. We're not yeah, taking care exactly. of you all sick and shit with your space disease. But that's no, what dude. I think. My mom got tested on Wednesday to see if she got it, but she, she got it. She she said they won't know until next week. Oh, okay. Yeah, she didn't get the like quick test. No, I think she just went to the normal. Well, dude. Place okay, so somebody was telling me like I haven't had time to like look it up or verify it or anything, but like somebody was telling me I think it was like Australia or something. One of their fucking uh, you know political bigwigs or whatever, whatever the fuck they call them <laughs> in backwards ass Australia. Uh, he was, you know, he was like, you know, trying to say like these fucking tests are garbage, and his way of proving it is he took one of the, like rapid antigen tests and uh, put it just like poured a, a can of coke into a glass and just like dipped it in the Coca Cola and then pulled it out, waited three minutes, and it tested positive. Well, yeah, okay, yeah. Or I, maybe Coca Cola is giving COVID. everyone COVID. <laughs> it's because of the fucking polar bears. Bam. Yeah, how's that for a conspiracy? Polar uh, bears are taking their revenge. You've killed their home for too long. <laughs> it's Greta Thunberg and the polar yeah. bears that fucking brought COVID to everybody. She uh, went to the North Pole, learned how to speak polar bear. I did but hear <laughs> that, like, hella tests are, like, a false negative. Yeah. Or the opposite to a false positive. Yeah, and false so, like, positive, yeah. Yeah, that's another thing in this year that is just weird. Like, what the fuck is real? Well, and then, you know, this, I don't, I don't know if you know about this, uh, like, the first, you know, the first person that they were, like, you know, televising, giving fucking the vaccine to, they stuck it in his arm and shit. Yeah. The, the, the fucking plunger for the needle was already depressed. They put an empty needle in his arm. Okay, okay. I was literally just talking about this yesterday, because my lady showed me some, like, nurse. Hold on, I think she put it on Facebook. I could literally get like, it. I mean, that, that could just be bad PR, and that's probably what it is, is, like, the, the guy that was giving it was stupid. Okay. But, dude, I feel like if that dude don't at least lose his job, yeah, then, you know, there's, there's something fucking wrong. Well, that's the thing, like, I posted this, I post, she posted this shit about, like, a nurse in Tennessee that, like, got the test, and she was, like, doing a PR thing about, like, look, I got the test, and then she just fucking, like, just fainted. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, the, like, she got the vaccine and fucking fainted, and there's, Yeah, uh, yeah, vaccine. Like, one, one of the protocols, I, I think, is uh, they have to have, like, they can't just give you the fucking vaccine. They have to have, like, an emergency, you know, person standing by right. while you get the vaccine because one of the reactions that people are having to it is anaphylactic shock. So, like, what? they got to have somebody there to fucking jab your ass with an EpiPen just in case. Well, but here was my, like, whole take on it because my lady was like, do you think this is real? Blah, blah, mm. blah. I also posted the video of Mike Pence getting it yesterday. Yeah. But, like... Here's how we who knows what's in that fucking needle. It's not yeah. proof of anything. That lady Yeah, it could be saline. Yeah, that lady that fainted. Yeah, yeah. I seen bitches faint for no reason. Yeah, I seen yeah, a motherfucker true, true. faint because he was standing up too straight. Like <laughs> you yep. can, you can faint for a billion reasons. That don't mean it was fucking COVID. Yeah. And same with Mike Pence, like that motherfucker was on TV like look at me, I'm your vice president. I got it, but what? There could be nothing in there. <laughs> could be water yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. It could be saline or you know, <laughs> yeah, whatever. morphine or some shit. Yeah, anything, dude. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, proof of nothing. Uh, who knows? So then, I guess that's a good question. Do you? What do you think about getting the vaccine? Uh, I mean, <laughs> I I ain't gonna get it. I got no reason to get it. Like, the, the deal about COVID is, is fucking. Uh, people in my age group are at the least risk of uh, fucking, you know, getting right. seriously yeah, yeah. injured from it. So why would I do that? You know, it's it's like I've never ever gotten a flu shot. And you know, what's funny is I'm not even sure if I had the flu, but if I did have the flu, it was once, and I was like seven. Yeah, I don't remember the last time you I know, had the flu. Yeah, I ain't been <laughs> sick in like 
32 years. I ain't even that old. Yep. Yeah. So there you go. Uh. <laughs> well, also, here's my whole take is like, why, like, no offense to doctors or no, nothing like that. But what, what fucking idiot gets a vaccine the like fucking day it comes out? That's what I'm saying, dude. Like, especially a vaccine that we created a whole, like, in one project year. that rolled back regulations <laughs> so you yeah. could do it faster. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to take that. I'm not going to be the first guy in line. You're dumb as fuck if you are. That's like, dude, okay, I won't buy, uh, like, okay, like a new <laughs> electronic product the first year it comes out, usually. I won't buy a fucking car the first year it comes out because you know why? There's usually fucking problems that they iron out over the next couple right. of years. I do. I mean, I do. Ag I bought the PS5, but I do agree with that. That like, uh, on some level, you have to know that there's like a possibility that shit isn't gonna go a hundred percent right. You know what I mean? Like, especially with like tech, like tech products you're not buying that shit day one and then being like this is gonna work for th forever you know what <laughs> i mean yeah yeah so same with the vaccine like that shit takes fucking years to perfect and we did it in like seven months <laughs> i'm not gonna get that at all uh, uh nah nah i mean i get it okay we're a technologically advanced society like we're, we're pretty that good advanced. fucking medicine and stuff like that but still I, I i'm not gonna trust something the minute it comes out yeah let fucking exactly. half the population get it before me that's fine and the thing is it's like okay well if half the population is already immune that alone is going to you know harm the the virus's ability to reproduce enough to where it'll you know send things closer to going back to normal you know right exactly so like, uh, while while you know some people do have like the more people that have immunity the better you know so like the more people who get the vaccine the better i'm not taking it <laughs> i'm not taking it <laughs> <laughs> well actually that kind of brings me to my next thing specifically talking about shit that like comes out not good yeah. uh have you played cyberpunk no huh did it come out not good because i heard on console it's extra garbage so that's like it's such a crazy topic to me because I fucking am goddamn in love with it. It's like my favorite game in so goddamn okay. long. No, I are think you playing on PC or PS5? PC, yeah. I okay, would. all right, yeah. Yeah, there was no way I was going to buy that on even next, I guess, air quotations, next-gen next consoles. Next-gen console, yeah, yeah. I figured that was the case, Although I, I, do, I had to ask. I do also love my PS5, but... Yeah, yeah, I'm not buying that shit on PS5. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that yeah. was never going to happen. I'm not retarded. Well, well I've heard, like, uh, people say that, like, it runs all right on PS5 with, like, the backwards compatible PS4 game or whatever. Yeah. But they say, like, even if you're playing it on the PS4 Pro, like, it fucking don't run good. Yeah, on consoles right now, it look Well, the thing is, like, I know one person who's playing it on, like, an Xbox One. Like, yeah. base Xbox One, not even the, like, advanced one. The shittiest yeah, console, the yeah, the shittiest console of last gen. And he says it actually works really good for him. So I yeah. kind of, my take is kind of been, like, I wonder if they accidentally released, like, different builds of the game. Hmm. Because e there are people who have, like, 30 90s and shit on computer. And yeah. they're saying it runs like garbage. And yeah. then, like, my brother has a 3090, and he says it runs perfect. And then yeah. I don't have... I have a fucking Vega 64, and I'm running it on Ultra just fine. Like, I've had maybe a total of six bugs at all, like, ever. And one of them, I don't even know if it was a bug. It was just an Invisible Man drinking whiskey. And I was like, I wonder <laughs> if this is just a cameo for the Invisible Man. Because <laughs> it didn't even seem like a bug. It seemed really polished. <laughs> yeah, you were like, no, they did this on purpose. <laughs> yeah, the, the whiskey glass would go in the air and you would see some of it drip out and like he was drinking it and then it would put down on the counter. And I was like, I want this must not be a bug it looks so good no, dude that's his uh that's his like cyberpunk 
ability. Like, <laughs> he hack everyone around him. Uh, he hack your brain so that you can't see him. But you know he's there. It is cool. I think the game is goddamn awesome. But, yeah, yeah it's so divisive right now that the company itself has lost, like, a billion dollars in founders or whatever. That's fucking nuts. Yeah, and Sony. Well, that's, took dude, it that's off the problem the when you fucking when you hype a game too much. Yeah, well, the thing, I mean, yeah, I guess I don't know. To me, it has lived up to exactly what I thought it would be. But I, yeah. I wonder if people are like just. Well, like they they can't they can't get that same result that they got with you with yeah, everybody. Yeah, exactly. But they hyped it the same amount to everybody, you know? Right, like it was, yeah, it was and then I wonder... Keanu Reeves, <laughs> fucking, dude, they, they had a thing at the Video Game Awards, blah, 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 you know? Yeah, fucking, dude, and I wonder if, like, hype. I wonder if people themselves, like, overhyped it based on the hype that was around it. That's what I'm saying, like, people are gonna get overly stoked about shit, like... And they were like, dude, you know, it's I'm, gonna I, be I was no fucking excited style. about it, but, like, you see, I wasn't that excited about it because I ain't bought it yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, well, I would also say that, like, it's kind of a shot in the dark right now, so I would yeah. still wait, like, a month before you Yeah, yeah, it. yeah. Well, and, and another thing is, like, fucking, you know, uh, it's it's a single-player game, and, you know, I like single-player games, don't get me wrong, but, man, I want something like that, but multiplayer, you know? Like, I don't want to play oh, alone. So, I one of the things that I've because I already have, like, 40-plus hours in the game or some shit, and I've been recording yeah. it. Like, I, it, I'm it, i I'm so into the game that I'm recording and actually fucking forget I'm recording. And so it's like a fucking three-hour recording, like, fucking 42 gigabytes. So <laughs> I had to keep moving the recordings off, and one thing I was noticing by watching it, I don't know how many times since I've started this game that I've said I cannot fucking wait until this multiplayer comes out. Because this shit is the coolest, dude. I got Okay, like so is there fucking... going to be multiplayer? Yeah, there's 100% oh. going to be multiplayer. I don't know okay, how... Okay, I'll buy it then. I don't... Yeah, I don't know how soon that shit will come out because now fucking yeah, everybody now they, they fucking losing... hates it. Yeah, money. <laughs> Yeah, everybody seems to hate the game. People have fucking said Keanu Reeves is horrible, and, like, mm -mm -mm -mm. people are so mad about it. But there is going to be multiplayer, and I think even though they said it's not going to be like GTA, like it's going to have a story, that shit is definitely going to be like GTA. Yeah, how Just, could it not? It's Oh, it's so good. It's so that, that, cool. That's all I want, is I want to level up, get cool fucking space robot powers or whatever. And uh, drive around in my Tron car. Oh, and speaking of multiplayer shit, a game that you don't like, but just to talk about because I played it last night and I did dumb good. I I re-downloaded Apex because, like, uh, yeah. just for the fuck of it, there's a new map. It has cars and shit. Yeah. And uh, console players play Apex now, too. Like, it's cross-platform. And dude, I shit all over people last night. <laughs> we did yeah, so uh, bad in the beginning, and then just one game turned around, and I fucked everybody. Yeah, I, I played it. Uh, I played it again not too long ago. Fucking uh, like one of one of Brandon's friends was on there, and fucking Gabe was on it. So I, I jumped on for a minute, and like <laughs> the reason I hate that game, and I stopped playing after like a day, was uh, dude, it just feel too slow. Oh, like compared to Call of Duty? I mean, compared to anything, you know? Like, it just feels unbearably slow. Really? I... That's an interesting take, because I think it's one of the faster Battle Royales, but... Um, no, I mean, like, 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 okay, when you're running and stuff... Oh, dude, you feel okay, so slow. yeah, yeah. Like, uh, movement well, feels that's funny. slow in Okay, that game. yeah, because I said that last night, literally, yeah. as we were playing it, like... I keep that's, thinking that's I'm what kills Octane me. Like the, trying the to go gun faster. play and stuff, I'm cool with. Like, I like the abilities and stuff. The concept is cool. But, dude, uh, the movement just feels so horrible that I can't play that game. Yeah. It, it, well, yeah, it's funny you said that. Because literally last night, I was like, I fucking wish I could run faster. <laughs> 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 like, word like, for I, word, I, don't I think said it that should, shit. You should have to have, like, a special power for your character 
just to be able to move at a bearable pace. <laughs> yeah, okay, and, and I, should, I, I shouldn't have to saying. fucking like slide, fucking jump, slide, slide, <laughs> jump, slide, slide, jump to fucking just to move at a, at a decent pace. Like, uh, yeah, dude, I okay, I, I agree have to with work you. Work hard to move normal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, I agree with you. All the Warzone, though, I think is fuck fast. I think Warzone. Oh is yeah, Warzone fast. is fucking way fast. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. I don't even know what to talk about next. I don't either. We did it. We've been <laughs> I, talking. Yeah, that's it. We burned through it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what what other top. What did I say yeah. to you about Merry topics fucking Christmas. to talk this about? Is, this is what you get. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, dude, okay, I agree. This is where we should end it because fucking 2020 has been garbage. So yeah. the end of the podcast should be equally as unfulfilling. There you go. This episode's over. <laughs> <laughs>